China has completed another new magical way in the desert, that is, the Yulichiyama Highway. At the end of June last year, this desert highway was officially open to traffic. The total length of this highway is about 334 kilometers, of which the desert section is about 307 kilometers. It is also the third desert highway in China that passes through the Sea of Death Taklamakan. The Yuchia Highway completely passes through the hinterland of the Taklamakan Desert. It is the desert highway with the longest mileage, the widest distribution of traveling dune, the worst construction conditions and the most difficult construction in the world. The highway has shortened the journey between Xiamen County and the prefecture's capital city of Korla by roughly 350 kilometers. It is expected to effectively improve the local situation of long travel distances, high cost of living and difficulties to sell agricultural products. Over the past few decades, the travel time from Korla to Chiemma has been shortened from three days to more than a dozen hours, and now it takes only six hours. In the construction environment with no water, no electricity and no network, how to overcome the huge engineering challenges gradually? Besides, what difficulties and challenges have Chinese builders overcome in five years? Okay, that and more is exactly what we are going to talk about, let's get started. 1. The first step in crossing the Sea of Death is to push down the sand mountain. At the construction site of the Yuchia Highway, you can see the extraordinary wonder of human beings fighting against nature. Huge bulldozers roared back and forth between the towering sand mountains, 40 bulldozers pushed the shifting sand for 150 days and pushed the yellow sand to low-lying places. The average amount of earthwork and accumulation of sandhills in the Taklamakan Desert is relatively high and the transportation distance is very long, coupled with the influence of high-temperature weather, which has caused great difficulties to the construction. If you want to build a road in such an endless sea of sand, you must first push the dunes away. The sand mountain stretches forward for one kilometer, the excavation volume exceeds 1.2 million cubic meters, and the excavation depth reaches more than 30 meters. To this end, a total of 15 bulldozers worked in turn. The mountains are high and sandy, so they use the method of peeling onions to cut down the sandy mountains. When the flatness of the sand hill reaches the construction standard, woven cloth will be laid on the road that was bulldozed, and at the same time, it will be covered with gravel and be rolled to form the foundation roadbed. The connection process in the middle is a very important part. Due to the high fluidity and strong wind in the desert, if the interval is too long, it will bring very serious pressure on the subgrade work to be cleaned and reworked and the workload will increase accordingly. The workload will also increase accordingly, affecting the overall construction progress. Second, the grass square grid is the key to show the magic power of sand fixation. The desert is a magical place where any life can be swallowed up by quicksand. If you don't govern it, then the rolling yellow sand will give you a fatal blow in any neglected detail. When building a road in the desert, you must first fix the sand, otherwise the wind and sand will bury the entire road, which is a great debuff for the maintenance of the road. China has made very good achievements in the development of sand control and sand fixation technology for desert highways. The Yuchia Highway is the third desert highway in China, so it also summarizes and draws on the advanced and successful experience of the first two desert highways. After detailed scheme design and verification comparison, the Yuchia Desert Highway began to build grass grid protection projects along the whole line. A sand barrier was first built around the dunes on both sides of the roadbed to block some quicksand, and then lay grass squares one after another to block quicksand from the road. The so-called grass grid is actually a grid-shaped windshield made of reed materials on the flowing sand dunes. By roughening the ground, it reduces wind power, blocks quicksand, and protects soil and water. Large-scale machinery is basically useless for construction on such undulating sandy ground, so this task is basically completed by manual operation. Under the extremely cold and extremely hot conditions of the desert, the construction personnel must first carry each bundle of 70 kilograms of reeds into the desert, draw construction grid lines on the sand dunes, place the trimmed reeds on the grid lines, and use a shovel to embed the middle of the reeds in the sand, and finally form a square one meter long and wide. The Taklamakan Desert is windy and the sand dunes are fluid. 
Only if the grass squares on both sides of the roadbed are built wider and more solid, the protection ability will be stronger. At 100 meters on both sides of the outer road of the grass square, wooden stakes are used as columns, nylon nets are used as fabrics, and the two are tightly tied together with thin iron wires to build a strong sandproof fence, thus a green barrier hundreds of kilometers long is formed, which is also the first defense line to block wind and sand. 3. Repeated experiments to overcome problems, the scientific and technological team made great contributions. The natural conditions along the Yuchia Desert Highway are extremely harsh, and many road construction materials that can be sourced locally are very scarce here. It is undoubtedly the most economical and reasonable choice to effectively use the widely distributed aeolian sand in the desert as the main material for roadbed filling. From the perspective of physical and chemical properties, aeolian sand is generally formed in arid regions as a special kind of sand, which has the characteristics of fine particle size, looseness, no viscosity, low natural moisture content, and poor water retention. With the development of large-scale transportation construction in Xinjiang, the mileage of highways in desert areas is getting longer and longer, and the research on aeolian sand also needs to be further improved and refined. After all, its characteristics such as stability and overall strength are related to the service life of the road after it is open to traffic. During the construction of the Yuchia Desert Highway, the construction team has cooperated with many scientific research organizations for many times and have carried out theoretical analysis on the compaction mechanism of Aeolian sand subgrade. Combined with a series of indoor test comparisons of Aeolian sand, there is a comprehensive understanding of Aeolian sand as a subgrade. The mechanical characteristics in the compaction process have laid the foundation for the construction of highways and also left a valuable wealth of knowledge for the construction of desert highways around the world. All in all, the completion of the Yuchia Desert Highway not only completed the feat of crossing the Sea of Death, but also became an economic belt in the hinterland of Xinjiang, effectively improving the local people's long travel distance, high living cost and difficult sales of agricultural products. At the same time, this highway, which connects many tourist attractions, will also attract more tourists into Xinjiang. At the same time, the area that the route passes through is the oil geological accumulation enrichment zone in the Darim Basin, which will provide strong support for future oil and gas exploration, development, and transportation, and is of great significance to promoting the development of advantageous resources and economic and social development along the route. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. Hot Topics Time, time to explore the wisdom behind the news, we will see you in the next video.